Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Combustion Guys YouTube channel and today we're taking a look at the NASCAR paint schemes for the 2024 season. So right off the bat we're just going to start off with trucks and we'll move on to Xfinity and in another video we'll take a look at the new cup paint schemes. Alright, right off the bat we got a new Celsius Energy truck paint scheme that's going to be a one-off for Daytona in the Tricon Garage number one Toyota. Doesn't look too bad, looks pretty good. And uh, as you're gonna see from some of the other Celsius paint schemes that have been uh, released, it actually is a little bit different than uh, some of those. We got the number five Tricon Garage in the black and green with some white accents. The next era 250, car looks pretty good. That's gonna be Dean Thompson in that. Nice looking paint scheme. Toyota, um, the Toyota trucks, they do look really, really good, that's for sure. We got uh, the number 7 Spire truck team with Blue Green Vacations. That's a new one been released. That's going to be Corey LaJoy racing, apparently. And that thing, that looks pretty good. Looks good for the uh, Blue Green Vacations sponsor on there. That looks really nice. We got, of course, Grant Infinger. He's going to be in the champion number nine truck for CR, CR7 Motorsports, along with the Grant County Mulch. And both of those paint schemes look really good, I must say. The uh, alternating colors from the main color being yellow to black to the white, being to the white to the black to the yellow. That, that's pretty good. I like the back and forth. And also, it makes it easy for them to wrap the trucks. So, that looks good. I like that. Then of course you got the Safe Flight Tricon Garage truck. I mean that looks. I mean you really can't go too wrong with the Safe Flight truck. Honestly, those paint schemes always look good. Definitely looks nice. We got the McNally Racing or the let's see the McNally Hill. Yeah, McNally Racing. We won't get into the names too much, but uh, the whatever that sponsor's name is, the number 18 truck by Tyler Ankrum. It looks good from the uh, some of the other ones they've done where it's been the white and the orange to the black. This is a little bit different with the dark blue going on. And it looks pretty good. A nice switch up and it looks good on the uh, Silverado there. Then of course we've got Christian Eckes returning to uh, obviously MHR once again with the Napa Auto Care back on the truck. And I like the new paint scheme. The new paint scheme looks good. You still got the main color being the blue, but you still get a nice amount of white coming in through the middle here to kind of slice up where the uh, numbers are to make the numbers very visible for the spotters. That looks good. And then of course the yellow all throughout here. Nice looking paint scheme. I like that one. Rackley War of course with Ty Dillon. You're going to get a little bit of throwback with the gold here because it's the 50th anniversary of the 25 Rackley War uh, truck. And well, not the that but the company but anyways that's what it is and uh, I must say the gold accents on it it does look pretty good bummer that a certain driver got kicked out of it and is not racing this year but uh, definitely a good looking paint scheme uh, beyond that we got the ROM brothers they bring it on Lawless Allen full time and his auto puck pocket.com truck that thing looks good and also they moved over to uh, Forward as well, so another F-150 going to be out on track, but it looks really good. Nice same paint scheme as before, but it looks good on the uh, Ford body. Looks nice. Of course, we got the number 38 truck, plain yellow, the Loves RV stop, and that paint scheme looks really nice. We'll obviously look at this again once we get to the cup side, but a nice plain yellow truck with Loves RV on there. Nice looking truck for Lane Riggs to drive. Nice Motorsports, the number 41, driven by Bailey Curry. The uh, digital design on the side is pretty, pretty neat. You also got the very bright uh, rear uh, deck lid there that's got the white compared to the black and the blue going on on all the sides. So it will grab your attention, and uh, I definitely think it will look good for a night race. Not one of my favorites necessarily, but under the lights, it should definitely look good. Then we got the number 42 of, I believe this is Matt Mills, and that's going to be JF Electric. That looks interesting. Not one of my favorite designs, obviously. I'm never really a big fan of the white hood, necessarily. White hood on race cars, eh, not one of my favorites, especially when they got all these other colors going on. I definitely like white as an accent, but not necessarily for the 
the chop up of the, the hood here looks a little bit weird, but other than that, not a bad looking paint scheme, not one of my favorites. We got the number 43, and this is going to be Daniel Dye, this is going to be the Napa Night Vision, and this is a new one, and uh, I hadn't seen this one yet, and that is, that's a nice looking paint scheme, I like that. So, still got the 43 numbers going on there, but uh, nice, that's a good looking truck there. Then we got the number 43, this is Champion Container Corporation, and I do like this paint scheme as well. You got the bright yellow uh, letters right there, or numbers on top to be able to make sure the spotter can see it, and then the white on the side to then break it up so you can see the number on the side of the truck, that looks good. But yeah, two really good looking trucks for Daniel Dye. Excited to see how he does, local Florida boy, so we'll see how he does in the truck series this year. Nice looking paint schemes. Of course, we got the Faction 46 paint scheme. Compared to the demo or the uh, the promo truck paint scheme, a bit of a letdown, honestly. I mean, it's not bad. It's just kind of boring. It's just there. I mean, it's definitely simple, which will make it easier to wrap and stuff. But compared to the colors of Faction 46, where it's the bright orange and the blue and the black, it's, uh, it's just there so we'll see how they do definitely excited to see how Thad Moffat does but uh, a bit of a blase paint scheme to kick things off for him anyways then we've got the uh, Hill Motorsports and both of these paint schemes that they have here are beautiful we got the units um, paint scheme right here with the mostly black white and blue going on and then we come down here we got the investing in paradise or C and E enterprises and uh, this with the sudden yellow going into the, the blue and the white of the units paint scheme. I like it. I like both of these trucks. I'm not sure if it's just the renders. So obviously seeing them on the TV on track will probably be, be a diff, bit different. But just in the renderings anyways, these things look really, really good. So two of my favorite paint schemes I think so far this year. And a new paint scheme and new driver and new sponsor announced. Roger Carruth will be driving for Spire Motorsports. We get the number 71 in HendrixCars.com. Once again, same paint scheme. Going to be easy to wrap that. Doesn't look too bad. We got Henderson Motorsports number 75. And we have got ourselves ballpark buns and rolls. And we got the giant hot dog inside. Uh, it might just be the rendering, but I have to eat my own words that I said earlier in this video. White hood. It does make it, unfortunately. It really does. But I think part of it is just there's no other white on it, so it just really is the accent. So I guess it kind of works. Whereas the other ones had white all throughout here, and then you just chop the hood off with white. Whereas this is just white hood, the rest of this paint scheme comes in. So, not bad. I mean, it is bright. It is hot dog. I mean, yeah. Hot dog, the hot dog mobile returns. Obviously, it's not Oscar Mayer, but still, hot dogs are back on track. So, that's a cool paint scheme. We got Freedom Racing Enterprise, and uh, this is a new team. I forget all who's involved in it. Spencer Boy, that's who it is. So, we got the Freedom Warranty truck right here. Uh, the number 76, not a bad looking truck. A little bit uh, blase to some extent, but looks good. And then we got this one up here. We got the, whatever that sponsor is, Lumber Co. by Tib. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell if that's an F or E. Oh, it's E. So Tib Bits. Tibbits? I don't know. Anyways, but uh, I do like the uh, paint scheme on it. It looks pretty good. It actually looks more like a paint scheme you would see more on a Toyota than a Chevy, honestly, just with how it's designed. But orange paint scheme, lumber, looks good. And then the black accents with the black wheels. Good. Nice looking paint scheme. Spire Motorsports, we get Chase Purdy in the Bama Buggies truck, number 77. Not too bad. Looks pretty good. A little bit different from uh, previous Bama Buggy paint schemes, but uh, you still got all the main colors there, and it looks good. Nice. We got the number 91 to close us out here with Jack Wood. Not a bad look looking paint scheme. It looks pretty good with the darker red, you got the black, and then you got the white kind of going into a silver. Not a bad looking paint scheme. A little bit odd with how it's the, the black's cut out around the number, honestly, but other than that, not a bad looking paint scheme. 
All right, taking a look at what my favorite paint schemes are here, guys. So top five. I'm going to go ahead and start off with one right here. I love this paint scheme. This thing is beautiful. Nice looking paint scheme. We'll also go ahead and just give this number two. You got the TRD Pro accents right there like the real truck has. Love that. So one and two going to those two trucks. Number three, we're going to give it to the ballpark truck. Number 75. It looks good and also it's making me hungry. Hot dog. Also, we're going to go to number four, and that's going to go to Daniel Dye's Napa Night Vision. Nice looking paint scheme. like it. It's different than other Napa paint schemes, which is kind of why I like it, honestly. It's just different. Looks good. And of course, number five, my favorite paint scheme. Oh, we also didn't look at the Infinity uh, paint scheme that Lane Riggs is also going to be running. That's a good looking paint scheme. But number five on my list, uh, the one that I previously mentioned was number four, is of course the Love Stop truck. Going to like seeing a bright yellow truck running around on track but uh, yeah those are my top five on the truck series let's head on over to the xfinity series and see what we got all right starting off with cole custers we got haas the number double zero haas cnc not a bad looking paint scheme different from last year a little bit more on the white side with some silver not as much black so not a bad looking paint scheme looks good and be still my heart i've seen this on social media and boy does that look good Andy's frozen custard cold custard has arrived. That is a cool looking paint scheme uh, I bet you can tell which one's my favorite already. That one's definitely up there Taking a look at the number one we got some new paint schemes here We got the Carolina carports not a bad looking paint scheme for Sam Mayer And then we got the Raptor high heat. This is an interesting looking paint scheme kind of uh, at least in the render matte black going on with the flames that's a that's a good looking paint scheme hadn't really seen that one so that's pretty cool Richard Childress of course we got Jesse Love and the return of the Whelan car not bad looks good we got the number four this is gonna be uh, I think it's Dawson Cram I think that's how I think that's his name anyways and we get the f I, I don't know what the sponsor is what's the sponsor on this Mike what is, I don't know what the sponsor says there I want to say it's fur man but I, I can't really I can't tell what that is so it's something but anyways not a, it's, it's interesting to paint scene obviously you got some hurricane stuff we got Lowe's back on there that's interesting the red red wheels with the black that's interesting very spacey interesting I'm not sure what to make of that paint scheme but it's definitely interesting we got the number five dude wipes mobile returning we got the classic black we got the white dude wipes and we got the bright blue along with some death wish coffee and some wonderful pasta stuff <laughs> Anthony Alfredo nice little paint scheme hopefully he goes fast we got the number seven of Justin Algar. A few different takes on the Brant paint scheme. We got different uh, fruits and veggies that are going to be uh, promoted on the side of the car. So that's going to be kind of interesting. And then we also got the uh, Jarrett uh, 25 anniversary or 25 years of something or other uh, paint scheme. We've got the chrome number on the side. That's pretty cool. And then we have just the base Jarrett paint scheme that's going to be run for the rest of the season. Not bad. We got the number eight, and the number eight brings back Pilot Flying J. Beautiful looking paint scheme. Love that. And you also got the TMC uh, paint scheme back as well with the dark orange, black, and some gold. Definitely like these two paint schemes. They look good. We got the number nine of Brandon Jones, and that's bringing back Menards. Say big money, help Menards. We got Dawn Ultra. Of course with the classic Menard side and then of course we got uh, Swiffer with the classic Menards side so good looking paint schemes definitely not gonna be able to miss them we got the number 11 colleague racing car Josh Williams and Starchon on board hadn't seen this one yet um, I'm not totally sure what that sponsor is looks like it's probably additives automotive additives of some sort but not totally sure also getting a bunch of fishy vibes here too, so I'm not totally sure what's going on with all this paint scheme, but I like the camo. It's kind of like half camo, half that. I mean, almost basically, I mean, you can put the... I'm not sure what to make of it, actually. But it looks good. Camo, camo, fishies, and 
something else. It's it's an interesting Nick paint scheme. We got the number 14 SS Greenlight. This will be driven by Daniel Suarez, and it's the Wendy's Mobile. Um, yeah. I like Wendy's in the sport, but I do not like this paint scheme. <laughs> that is weird looking. I did not know that this was a thing either, so. Daniel Suarez in the Wendy's Mobile. I, I, it's interesting. I don't like it though, but. It's certainly interesting. We got the number 15 of Am Racing, and we got a few different paint, paint schemes here. We got Airbox, that's of course going to be driven by Haley Deegan. Looks good with the white wheels and the blue and stuff. Also, looks like we might have like blue chrome lip numbers on the side. Not sure about that. And then we also got the pastel line of colors here with the white wheels once again. Good looking paint schemes on both. Uh, this one's definitely going to catch your eye, I think, though, on track. So, got a zebra of multiple colors, so that's going to help you out. And then, as I was saying, the Celsius Energy Paint Schemes return to a uh, colleague, and we got the number 16 Xfinity and also the Cup one, but Xfinity one is the one we're interested in most. Black, black roof line, black front end with the little orange on the side. It, it's a mean looking paint scheme with the black accents on this car. It looks good. Like it. We got Austin Hill back in the 21s. We got Global Industrial. Industrial. Ah, the Global Industry. Blah, blah, blah. That paint scheme. We got that in the number 21. Looks pretty good from the only side of the angle you can see. I think it's basically the same as last year, so looks good. But then we got the new Bennett paint scheme and we also got John 316 on the side that's interesting but uh, yeah 25 years of Bennett good looking gold added into the paint scheme makes it look sharp very nice we got the Sam Hunt racing mobile and green CRC brake clean green all I gotta say looks beautiful love it love that paint scheme don't even have to criticize one bit of it just Beautiful, clean, love it. Alpha Prime's got some paint schemes for us. Ryan Ellis, we got the uh, Heartbeat Hot Sauce. I like that one. That one's good. That one's good looking. Got the nice blacked out logo. Got the flames. Clean looking paint scheme. Really do like how they fit in the logo. All blacked out. And then the rest of the car just pops. It, it, it looks like a hot sauce uh, bottle. So, I mean, that just really makes it look good. We got... Whatever this sponsor is, something classic col collision, classic collision. I think that's what it says. Anyways, interesting looking paint scheme. A little blase with the blue and then the dark blue. Just it's kind of off, honestly. It's not much to really make it stand out, but interesting. And then of course we got this one, the Rolling Plains Construction. Honestly, it looks like it's supposed to be a Briar's ice cream paint scheme. That's what it makes me think of. So, uh, give me a give me a picture of some mint ice cream right here, and uh, you got me sold on this one. But that's interesting. Doesn't look bad. It just makes me instantly think um, Briar's ice cream, for whatever reason. Alpha Prime with the number forty-four. We got uh, Financial Pro Plus. Brandon Poole, nice paint scheme. Looks like they're trying to copy the dude white popularity with the bright blue with the black and the white. And then of course we got the Mac Door Systems. Bright. Very colorful. Makes me think of Michigan. But it will get your attention. It looks good. The number 45 of Alpha Prime, we've got uh, whatever this paint scheme is, Wise Sand and Clay LP with Apex Coffee Roasters. Uh, don't know what's going on with that paint scheme. It looks like uh, we're trying to sell some consumer cellular, honestly. So we'll move on from that and look at what's important, and that is <gasps> Brownie Bites. Protein Brownies. Got a little bit of chocolate melting right there on the hood. I mean, uh, that that's a, that will be eye-catching. It will catch your eye, that is for sure. Not so, not a big fan of the TikTok on there, but the giant brownie and the melting chocolate on the hood, I can definitely get behind that. That, that makes me hungry. 
looking at the big machine racing car the only car so far um, that has been shown and that's got giant oranges with the orange juice all rushing on the sides it's bright and it will catch your attention that's for sure looks good Jeremy Clements in the number 51 we got a few different paint schemes we got FPF or first Pacific funding or something like that anyways we got uh, the traditional gold with the blue and the black looks good but uh, this one over here is definitely my favorite the first Pacific funding Texas edition and we've got the bright red we got the bull that's about to charge everybody that looks good on the side there really does pop looks good also like how they updated the logo to make it look like uh, the Texas flag there to some extent looks good like that paint scheme and then we got this one elite towing and you got the uh, tow hook ripping around the front here around the number that looks good gives me some days of thunder vibes to some extent I'm not sure why but it does good looking paint schemes Then we got uh, Joey Gase racing. This will be Joey Gase. And we got the 53 something something crime. I can't read the side there. But we got a giant animated dog in a suit. Weird. Anyways, that's the paint scheme. We got the number 66 of MBM Motorsports. Mr. Whataburger has returned. David Starr used to have a lot of good Whataburger paint schemes back in the day. But he's got uh, Motor Coach Store on board. And boy, does this thing give me, uh, gives me a few different vibes. It gives me some cast oil vibes. It also gives me a bit of uh, Bobby Labonte Interstate vibes for the reason. But I like it. It's colorful. It's pretty. I also like how they brought in the red stripe all the way from the the roof line down to the hood that looks good I, I like it it's a sharp looking paint scheme hopefully they have speed then we got the number 91 of DGM racing of course we've got uh, Kyle Weatherman on board and that is once again sharp looking paint scheme drivesmartwarranty.com makes me think uh, everybody's trying to jump on board the dude white paint scheme bandwagon and uh, definitely definitely sells me it's a good looking paint scheme we got the number 92, this course will be driven by Josh Blicky, but Insurance King and Ziegler. So Ziegler 92 car, bright yellow, black on the side, looks good. Same as last year, but looks sweet. Then we've got the Insurance King paint scheme, same as last year as well, but why change it? I mean, it looks iconic, nice looking paint scheme. Then we've got the paint scheme that I'm going to be rooting for for almost all of next year. SVG in the WeatherTech Mobile. Is it really that special? No, there's really not that much going on, honestly. But you got this big giant W on front. You got all the nice red and blues going on the side. It really does look like a nice paint scheme. I mean, is there really isn't that much going on, honestly, when you look at it. Just basically a plain white car, but really, it looks good. It ties in together very nicely. And also, just excited about the guy racing it as well. That's going to be fun to watch. So, nice paint scheme. Then, of course, Monster Energy returns to Riley Herps. Uh, now, in this vendor, it looks like there's like carbon fiber texture going on in the body, but I'm pretty sure it's just the matte black paint scheme, same as last year. Ford Performance decals added to the hood. Look nice. I like it. Nice looking paint scheme as always. Wish they'd add a little bit more uh, variety by bringing on some of the flavors like Mango Loco or any of the other cool flavors that they have, but it works. It works, but still, some other flavors of the energy drink would be nice to see. So taking a look at uh, what my top five are, of course, number one has to be the Andes Frozen Custard Mobile. I mean, this thing is just beautiful, plus also the cold custard reference is just awesome. And, I mean, you got a giant giant uh, cone of ice cream right here. I mean, it's it's just, it is a really good looking paint scheme on the Mustang. I like it. So, that's going to be a fun and very pretty paint scheme to see on track. Number two, mostly because of the driver, but also just because I really do like uh, seeing WeatherTech in the uh, NASCAR series. This has got to be number two. So, SVG's WeatherTech Mobile. I like the paint scheme, looks clean. For whatever reason, I really do like this paint scheme. This number 66 of MBM Moon Sports, I don't know what it is. I don't really know who the sponsor is, but it's a good looking 
paint scheme. I mean, I just, I'm not totally sure. I think there's like some, some sort of, I'm not sure. It just, it throws me back to some sort of paint scheme that I've seen in the past. And I just really, really like it. I don't know what that paint scheme is necessarily. I think it's probably castor oil, but still, it just, it looks good. I don't know why, but it just, it looks really good. Like it. That's number three. And we got to throw this paint scheme in, guys. Celsius Energy. I love this paint scheme. It always looks clean on track. Really looking forward to seeing this paint scheme again at Daytona. Good looking paint scheme. And at number five, I have to put this one on here. It's going to be kind of tough. I'm going to add some honorable mentions here at the end because this one had to be in the top five. I mean, this paint scheme, oh, it looks so good. I like it. The gloss white with the red and the green. I mean, mm, it's a good looking paint scheme. Not a fan of Toyota that much, but this paint scheme, oh boy i can really dig it it looks good with the blacked out wheels as well just mm, love this paint scheme can't wait to see this one on track here all right guys have to do the honorable mentions the hot beat hot oh the hot beats hot sauce company gotta put this one on here this is a good looking paint scheme really excited to see this anything any, honestly i have a, i have a thing with uh hot sauce paint schemes for whatever reason i really do like them especially when they have the flames on the side of the car just I really do like my hot sauce paint schemes for whatever reason so this one had to be put into the Xfinity honorable mentions because that that's a good one gotta put this one into the honorable mentions I have always liked the pilot flying J colors obviously love the uh, the loves stop paint schemes as well in the beautiful yellow but this one always cool paint schemes with flying J so gotta had to add this one on to the honorable mentions and we'll go ahead and add the TMC on to uh, the Honorable mentions as well, because that, it, I don't know, I always like these TMC paint schemes for whatever reason, and it just looks good. And the final honorable mention, we gotta do the Dude Wipes. Dude Wipes did this paint scheme the best, and has did it the first, so we gotta go with my boy Anthony Alfredo with the Death Wish Mobile for the final honorable mention. It looks good, it doesn't quite pop out to me as much as my top five did, but it's still needed to be honorably mentioned because this paint scheme looks really really good so I like that alrighty guys so that's gonna do it for us today obviously the best paint scheme of the Xfinity series right there really did like that one so that's gonna do us for trucks and Xfinity and I gave you my top fives so along with a bunch of honorable mentions from the Xfinity series obviously there's still a ton of paint schemes to still be revealed but just as of the, the day that I'm recording these are my favorite paint schemes obviously I could change my mind later on but these are locked in these are my favorite paint schemes that have been released and if you didn't release your paint scheme and didn't do that that's your problem you should have released your paint scheme a lot earlier so I could have looked at them but anyways that doesn't matter these favorite paint scheme and of course this right here favorite paint scheme for the Xfinity series this thing is beautiful can't wait to see it on track so that's gonna be it for today guys we'll be working on the cup video next up so anyways thanks for watching make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys here next time bye bye